All right, here's another short one. I just got done reviewing a, a coat. So this is a, a Filson Mackinac wool liner vest. Uh, this is a double XL size. Uh, this is a current product from Filson. You can still get it out of their catalog in different colors. Normally, green is the most common. Uh, I've seen them in blue, gray, blaze orange. I think they call it pheasant red, but it's really just, it looks like blaze orange to me, but whatever. And uh, maybe they have some plaid colorways, but um, this is differentiated from their tr more traditional Mackinac vest in that it zips closed. It has different style pockets here. Uh, the pockets, the hand warmer pockets are a little bit smaller than on their other vest. It doesn't have utility pockets up here. It has a, a collar that goes up and around your neck instead of cutting off like a V-neck. And then it also runs down lower. And then these, these uh, uh, liner jackets and vests that Felsen sells, whether they're down, wool, cotton, whatever, they have these pull tabs at the bottom so you can actually pull the bottom tight and seal up and keep the heat in. And that's a nice feature to have. Uh, this is a double XL size. I sized up because that's the size of the, the coat that I keep this zipped into. And I wanted to be able to layer under it. Uh, I'm, I try to control the amount of bulk that I have going down my arms. I work a lot with my hands. I crawl around on the ground. I'm up on ladders. You know, I'm just doing physical labor. And um, I find having too much bulk on the arms is just irritating as hell. I hate it. So for casual purposes, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. I'm just walking around with my hands in my pockets looking like a dweeb. But uh, when I'm looking like a dweeb with a hammer in my hand or an impact gun or a wrench or whatever it is, probably more likely a wrench than any of the other ones, but I use impact guns a lot. Uh, not much of a hammer guy, more of a screwdriver kind of guy. Anyway, um, regardless, I, I like that, that ability to articulate and not wear my arms out. So uh, I opt for vests quite a bit and sometimes I'll even stack vests and just have like a long sleeve wool shirt on and then just a bunch of vests on. It probably looks really stupid, but style was never really my, uh, my, my thing. But yeah, so this is the Mackinac wool. Uh, wool is my favorite. Um, and uh, and this, this is what it looks like. Double XL. I would normally be an extra large. Filson's sizing is generous on most of their products. There's a couple products they make that are more like fashion oriented. And that's, I'm taking that a little far. Like to say that a tin cloth short cruiser is fashion oriented is like really, I'm taking some liberties, but compared to the rest of the products they make, that one's definitely the most fashion oriented, but it's still a work jacket. Like end of the end of day, it fits like one, it's cut like one, but they're cut a little smaller, right? So you got to size up on those a lot of times, you know, or some of their jeans that are a little, skinnier they're, they don't make any skinny jeans but some of them are just skinnier than others and uh so you know it just depends on the product right but most of their product range is pretty consistently oversized so if you're normally a large in like barbour or another comparable product you're probably going to be a medium in a filson uh i'm normally an extra large in filson and their their extra larges tend to fit just a little bit more in the little more room in the body but the shoulders and the arms work for me personally. Again, everybody's body's different. Please don't ask me for a bunch of sizing advice. That's not what I'm doing here. But yeah, this is a look at that, that vest. Uh, it's a great vest. They uh, zip into uh, many different models of Filson coat and jacket. And then uh, they usually have a button on the back so you can button it in the back. So when you pull the jacket off, it's not just flopping around. And then they zip in on it either side and they give you that nice draw cord feature around the bottom for sealing out the air. It works just as well by itself as a vest as it does as an insulating layer inside of a jacket. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Hope it was useful.